Hey, Sky King here, creator of Skyland Mods, and I'm going to show you how I compile my textures together um, so you can make your own textures, whether you're exporting from something like Quixel Mixer or um, Substance Painter or Substance Designer. This is how I take uh, the ambient occlusion, the albedo, normal maps, gloss maps, compile them all together to just get the standard normal map and diffuse texture and save them for Skyrim. So let's jump right into it right now. Here I have an albedo map, which is basically a texture map with no shadows on it. And here I have the ambient occlusion map, which is the baked in shadows. In this file, we have a gloss map and a normal map. First, we'll start with the albedo, which we will convert into a diffuse. So first thing I like to do is set the levels. So in Photoshop, it's control L. And sometimes this white hump will end a quarter of the way down. I usually drag the outside arrows to where they're touching the ends of the white peak. And then I set it to multiply. And now you can see the difference. And it usually will darken your texture. If that bothers you, you can always lighten it up a little bit with the middle slider. Usually I don't touch it. Once that's done, I then flatten the layer by just going to layer, flatten image, or yes, right here. And then the last thing that I will do is I go to sharpen and unsharpen mask. And my settings are for 2K textures. My setting is 25% with a radius of two and a half pixels and a zero threshold. And then I hit save. Pretty easy. At that point, I'll hit Control S, or um, or you can hit Control Alt S, whatever you want. Control S, and you can save it, or you can hit Control Alt S, and we can save this as a DDS texture. And I use the Intel plugin because it works well for me. I'll just go ahead and save this as a test DDS. And I'll save this Albedo and hit save. And my settings is if there's no alpha map, just a select color. And then I will choose BC7 8BPP fine linear. I use this setting for both diffuse and normal maps. I'm sure people will argue with these settings. I, I get great quality from this, so I don't care. And then MIT maps auto generate, and then I hit OK. And quickly, your 2K texture has now been saved. Let's go over to the normal map. The normal map will have a gloss map as its alpha, and this will decide how shiny or dull the texture is, especially if you're carrying a torch. Um, also, when it's raining, if there's a rain effect or a wet effect with an EMB or something like that. Um, white means that it will be very shiny and very muddy. Black means it'll be pretty much matte and not have any reflection at all. Um, all objects in nature have some sort of reflectivity, even things that are pure black in color. So we're going to adjust this. And again, I'll usually bring this up and then I'll usually back it down to about something that looks like your mid grays maybe a little darker than mid grays and then uh, you can take that control A and control C so control A selects control C copies and then I turn it off I go to my channels and I hit the plus sign and that adds a layer called alpha 1 and while the little marching ants are around it I'll hit control V to paste it and then control D to unselect, and that's it. For your normal map, if you can look closely here, it looks like these details are protruding up, up towards the viewer. We want it to go down, to be sinking into the texture. If not, your normals are gonna be flipped in game, and it will look like the sticks and the leaves and the grass is embedded in the dirt and not poking out of the dirt. So to do that, we just simply go to the green channel and hit control I to invert if it wants to work, which it rarely does. Oh, well, we have to go to click on our normal layer first, channels, green, and then click control I. And now it has inverted the normal map. And now you can see 
everything looks like it's embedded here, but in game, it'll be the opposite. I don't know why they do it like that. Now, let's say you have a really, really weak normal map and you want it to be more prominent. You can always duplicate the layer and this is kind of the poor man's way of doing it. I would suggest in your texture editing program to work on the displacement settings. Um, but if you are working on someone else's work or you just don't have the capabilities of regenerating the normal map, you can always duplicate the layer and set the new layer to overlay. And it just makes it much more prominent. Watch out though, um, in Skyrim, if your normal map is too strong, it'll create these false shadows, especially at an angle. And as you approach that detail in game, the shadow will fade and disappear and it will look really bad. So don't go too strong with the normal, but go strong enough to where you can see the detail because if the normal map is too strong, it just creates this really weird ambient occlusion that just does not look good. Once we're done here, We'll hit Control S to save, and again, we'll just do, we'll just save this as test normal. Again, using the Intel plugin and hitting save. This time for texture color, I mean texture type, we're going to hit color plus alpha because we have an alpha map, and we're going to also choose fine linear. Okay, it will auto select one of these others so every time you change it between color and color alpha make sure that you set your compression quality here again auto generate the mip maps and hit ok and you're done the last thing i'm going to show you is setting an alpha map in here sometimes you have to have an alpha map with your grass or some other texture for transparency so for instance let's duplicate this I will make this a black and white texture because transparency or alpha transparency maps have to be, or transparent alpha maps have to be black and white. So we're going to hit control shift and U to make it black and white. And then I'm going to work the levels and bring this up. Now anything white will be transparent, anything, or anything white will be opaque, anything black will be transparent. And then I'll set a little bit of a blur. For a 2K image, I'll usually do a Gaussian blur of around two or three. And when you blur it, it'll adjust your curves again. So you can just kind of pull it up just a touch more. Once we're done here, we'll hit Control A to select all, Control C for copy, turn off the layer, go to our channels, add a new layer, which is called Alpha 1. While the marching ants are there, hit Control V, and then you can go ahead and get out. And now we can go ahead and save as. Intel, save. Same settings as the normal map with the color plus an alpha map, BC7, fine linear, and then OK. And that's it. You're all done. That is how I compile textures from modern texture creation programs and get them set up and ready to go for, um, for, uh, for Skyrim. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that this was informative.